the, the most difficult calculations we come across for the exam involve DDP calculations. And the reason they're complicated is under DDP, uh, all of your charges are included in the invoice value. So it includes duty, it includes freight, it includes insurance, it includes um, all of those values in the invoice value. But we know like um, international freight is not dutiable, insurance isn't dutiable. So when we're determining the transaction value, we, sh we can deduct those so that the importer is paying less duty on it. They don't need to pay duty on freight and insurance and things like that. And they certainly don't need to pay duty on top of duty that was included in the invoice value. So with DDP, to get to the transaction value, we need to deduct all of those charges that are built in. Just to give you a simple scenario that I think will help drive that point home, we're gonna look at um, from the, the seller's per perspective of calculating what the DDP value is that they're gonna sell it at versus how the broker will need to deduct charges to get to the transaction value. So let's use our scenario between John and Liz again. And say John agrees to sell Liz 10,000 widgets at $2.22 each, okay? Liz decides, I don't wanna deal with uh, the arranging the freight or the clearance or any of that, I just want it delivered and she wants to pay John to take care of all that for her. So she says, ship a DDP, give me an all-in rate to my door. Just uh, tell me what I need to pay you to have it delivered and you take care of everything for me. Okay, so this is what John's calculations may look like. He's gonna sell the widgets at $2.22 each, but since Liz wants it delivered to her and wants John to take care of everything, he's gonna to add to the selling price, uh, ocean freight, uh, what he's gonna pay in harbor maintenance fee, MPF, what he's gonna pay his broker, what the duty is, all of that he's gonna to add to the invoice for Liz. So this is what it might look like. So the widgets, he's selling 10,000 at uh, $2.22 roughly with some rounding. So the value of the widgets is $22,177.69. Then he needs to ship it to Liz. So it's going to cost $2,500 in ocean freight. And then the duty is 10%. So it's going to be $2,217.77 in duty. MPF will be $76.82. Harbor maintenance fee, $27.72. So the total invoice that John's going to give to Liz so that she can purchase for 10,000 widgets and he's going to ship it to her, all expenses included will be $27,000. Well, now, when the broker gets a copy of the commercial invoice, remember John added all of those charges in his invoice under DDP terms. So the broker receives an invoice showing $27,000 DDP. So the broker knows that that $27,000 includes duty, freight, and all those charges that aren't dutiable. If he doesn't deduct them, then uh, John, since he's gonna be the import of record under DDP terms, will be paying duty on charges that don't need to be in there. So the broker wants to deduct all of those fees. And this is, so on the flip side of it, and this is the part that typically comes up on the exam where you're asked to determine what is the transaction value under DDP terms and they give you the invoice value. So the first thing the broker is gonna do is he's gonna deduct all known amounts. So the broker has a copy of the ocean invoice and he knows the ocean print is $2,500. So he's gonna deduct the ocean freight from the 27,000. He is 24,500. Now the next thing he needs to do is he knows duty, MPF, and harbor maintenance fee are included in this 24,500. So to get to the transaction value, he needs to remove the, the duty and the MPF and HMF. Now the duty rate, let's say it's 10%. He can't just multiply 10% times 24,500 because that would, you'd be calculating that 10% off of the value that already includes the duty and the harbor maintenance fee and the MPF in it. So the way you do that is you're gonna add up all your percentages and then we're gonna divide to get, to remove those and get down to the actual transaction value. So you always start with 100% for your value of goods, so value of widgets. So start with 100%, then the duty rate's 10%, and we know 
Harbor maintenance fee is 0.125% and MPF is 3.64%. So we add those up, we get 110.4714%. So now we know that this 24,500 is 110.4714% of the actual value of the widgets. So to get to the value of the widgets, we're gonna divide 24,500 by 1.10474, and we get down to $22,177.70. Okay, so hopefully that scenario walking through both sides of a DDP transaction helps, helps the whole scenario make more sense. And just always remember, when you're trying to get down to the transaction value, on DDP, the value you're given on the invoice, it includes all of these other values. It already includes the, the duty, the harbor maintenance fee, MPF, all of those charges that are applicable. It's already in this value, so you need to divide to get that out and get down to the actual uh, value of the goods.